okay in this video I'm going to tell you about the full text index okay remember that thing first you have to install the full text service only then only you can use the full text index okay use your SQL server CD and install the CD or DVD and install the SQL server full index service okay this is the one once you actually have installed you can use SQL server config manager and you can see whether it's running or not here it is as it is running okay now remember one thing first thing about the full index the full index file is used only in the columns where the very columns are quite very big and the text is stored whenever you have a if you want to create a document which has a resume which has a table which has a resume actually and it has a very long text and you want to search that text on that for the resume inside the resume you can actually use that full text index create a full text index and search inside the the column that is resume which is a very large column okay now how do you do that thing okay now firstly remember that the full text index is not stored in the database like the other index it is stored as a separate file you should remember this thing you never forget this thing okay now they are stored in catalogs okay now first we create a full text index you should create a catalog okay so assuming that you have an adventure database installed on your SQL server and it has been actually attached or you are using it if let's go to the storage okay this is the table okay I am going to explain to you this is the table which is known as product chan product review it is in the adventure works okay there is a column that is known as known as comments okay we are going to create a full text index on this thing as you can see there has an where care of 3850 okay means it has a very long comments and we are going to search the using the full text on this field okay now we, so we have to create an index on this field itself but remember before you create a full text index there has to be a unique key existing unique key index existing in your table and as you can see it will ask you for the unique key otherwise you won't be able to create a full text index okay now let's move further down let's go to the storage okay once you come to the storage under the adventure works database you can select the full text catalog and select the right click give a right click okay as you can see you can go and select the new text full text catalog okay I am going to put, give a name okay the name is product review catalog uh, okay I'll just change it to the catalog product review and there we have I can use this set as a default catalog sensitive insensitive okay I will leave it as it is if I leave the owner as it is it will be actually take the take it as a DVO okay I will leave this owner as it is and click OK and I have created a catalog product review now remember one thing your file catalog is just a logical store it is a, not a physical store okay when you create a full index that is a physical file it will be stored in the logical file logical cat catalog product review or any other catalog if you want to create you can create as many catalog as you want okay 
ओके नाउ यू कैन सी दैट अ कैटलॉग रिव्यू हैज एक्चुअली अपीयर्ड ओके नाउ लेट्स गो एंड एक्चुअली क्रिएट अ फुल इंडेक्स ओके दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट शन स्कीमा प्रोडक्ट रिव्यू टेबल राइट क्लिक ऑन इट right click on and select the full text index and select the define the full text index from okay once you select the full text index define full text index it will actually show you a wizard okay select next Okay, it has a unique key. I already identified it. Okay, so there should be uh, no not a problem in creating the full text index, and then go to the next. There we are, and I am going to select the comments column. I am going to press the next. now this is there are three options here okay now what is say select chain tracking choose how the update of the tables and the views are tracked automatically means it will be done automatically you don't have to do anything about it it will keep on but the problem is that it will create uh, it will slow down the process like uh, sql server and it will put uh, pressure on the sql server but it this is the best option if you can want to do it okay it's whatever the description is actually already given it to you here down here it says when you define automatic or manual chain tracking a full population of the index occurs to avoid a population at the end of this wizard select the do not track the options and clear the stuff and if you don't want actually to do the automatically or manually so you can select the do not track changes in the database whenever you are updating it and so the index doesn't get updated again you have to reindex it and get it updated remember that thing you usually people actually would like to put it in the do not track changes because it is that makes the that does not actually put the pressure on the sql server and on the resources of the sql server and that's the reason otherwise we will actually use the automatic in this case Well, it's showing me the what catalog actually I wanted to put the index into. Actually, there are many catalogs here. Actually, one is Adventure Box catalog. I am going. To, I have created a catalog. Cat product review. I just showed it to you. Just showed it to you. Okay. And if I did not, I could have created one from here. Not a problem at all. Okay. I will leave everything. This thing as a default only. I don't want to change anything here. And I will go and take it as a next one. Click the next button. Now suppose if I wanted to schedule this index whenever I actually I wanted to do, I could always do it with this thing new index. Whenever I want to run it, I could give a name. Run full index. Product review. Okay, enabled. one time if i want it if i want it recurring okay then i can select it on the weekdays daily i will okay go and select it daily okay and maybe around maybe around some time when the there is lot of time available okay maybe 7 pm should do it and that's it 
occurring once at once okay and occurs every not one hour okay this is occurs at once at 7 pm and occurs daily because every day but i don't want to do it daily i will do it on the monday to friday so i will actually choose ch check this thing and actually change this thing to monday to friday and click okay and i will move to the next one and then again there is uh, actually it shows you all the tree and what is going to do the following action would be performed you can just go and look into this thing and the population of index etc etc whatever and we'll click finish and the index will get created there we are the index has been got created if you want to view the report you could view the report okay and it says that the index has been created with the success okay and let's close this thing down and we are there okay and let's close this thing and let's go and check it in the indexes okay okay right click on the table on which you have created the index and from the full text index you can actually disable and enable the full text index Okay, from the full text index, you can actually disable it, enable it. Okay, now when actually you want to actually query it, you actually have to use the words. It's very simple, but you have to use the words like contain, contains table, free text table. All these things you will have to use in the select statement actually to get the result. Okay, I'll just show you one or two examples. Let's go and select a new query. Okay, this is the query, and actually, actually, I have ran it already. Okay, this is what actually will give you the result. Actually, I have used where contents because the comments is again the column name on which the index was created, and the word actually I am going to search is the mountain. Okay, I can just go and look into the table and here are the comments okay and i can actually enlarge it and find out the word mountain exists in this thing as you can see that the word mountain exists here in the first one okay and it exists in the second one also okay now this is how actually you use the select statement you can also use it with the free text contains table and uh, there is a you want to experiment it you can always actually use it and uh, there is one more option that is, th that is free text table and actually some would give you the precise result some would actually not give you the precise result that's the only difference okay okay I think so. I've done with the. I'm done with the with this, and I will stop it here.